Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Josh Thomas here from the BitBlock. Welcome back to our video journal for Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. Look at me. I am looking especially refreshed today. It's been a little while since the uh, journal entries. If I go more than like 10 hours without uploading one of these guys, without, one, without uploading one of these, you guys melt, literally. I can't talk today, but then again, that's pretty typical for me. Um, oh, Digby, you smug little pup, you, pretending that you're doing more work than me. Keep it up, Digby, keep it up. So anyways, we're gonna walk outside right away. I have played the game a little bit. I've been playing it, but I'm not showing you guys what I'm playing. Oh, how evil is that? It's very evil. Okay, so listen. I don't remember if I showed you this. I think I did, but Main Street has expanded. Yeah, I showed you this. Um, I have made some building. Ooh, Static the Squirrel. I think that's who we're going to build a house for. Static is amazing. This guy is, oh, everything that's good. So I'm going to show you the two buildings that I created because I don't want you guys to fall behind on what's going down here. Look at this. I haven't even visited it. What is this? An this is an office. Oh, that's right. I did build this. <laughs> well, who else would have built it? Oh, I don't know if I would have hired all of these employees. All right. So, this is my little office. I've got little cubicles for everybody. Is that Bill the Duck? I think his name is Bill or something like it. He's the only one that's working. He's kind of got the less impressive uh, cubicle, though. This guy's got a much nicer one. The story behind this uh, worker is that they're very high strung, so they've got a lot of coffee laying around by their desk. I guess it's Rasher. Rasher, what's wrong with you? Ooh, he's wearing a business suit. Yeah, the business suit really doesn't take away from the fact that your face is all gashed up. It's kind of hard to look presentable when you're rasher. I like him, though. Listen, I love me a good beat-up pig. Squeak! Can't go that way. So this is the secretary's area. I guess this dude is the secretary. And then over here, this is where the big head honcho is. Yes! Look at you! Is that Genji? Is that Genji the rabbit? I think I know her name. Him? That's a him? Okay. Whatever. All right. I'm not judging you. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, I'm judging you. Okay, so this is the main office area. And I have a back room as well. What did I do in the back room? This feels like the type of thing I would not have wanted to make a back room for. And it is... <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to make a back room. Hi, guys! This is the... Um... Bobbly tiger head inventory room. Okay. Yep. This is all good. These are the quality control experts. Stinky? Stinky's a quality control expert? He's wearing his... Uh, yeah, you. Yeah, you're wearing your underwear on your face, Stinky. Don't you dare mouth off to me, Stinky. You know, I hired you and I can fire you, Stinky. You are on your last... Straw, mister. Let's talk to Stinky. It's a very weird name for a cat. Oh, are you guys talking back and forth? Am I just in the middle of a conversation here? Oh, yeah, that is a long distance chit chat there. All right, keep up the good work, guys. Those uh, bobble tigers look really good. Bobblehead tigers looking good. That's what the company sells. I think that was my idea. Just load the back room with bobble headed tigers and pretend that's what we sell. All right, everybody. Things are looking good. I'm going to leave. The, did, did, did the tiger just get demoted? The tiger got demoted. No, no, no. The tiger wasn't in charge. The tiger got... Oh, wait. I don't know what's happening. This office is confusing me. I don't know what any of them do. I don't think any of them do anything. So that's my office. Um, it is an office for a company that makes bobble-headed tigers. Now we're going to putter along to the next area. What is this? I think this might be a restaurant of sorts. Why would I have made another restaurant? I've already got like two of them. Oh no, this is a, this is a hair salon fashion thing. That's right. <laughs> oh gosh, that thing needs a lot of help with its fashion and its face. A lot of ugly things in the fashion boutique. So this is a hair salon, I think is what I was going. But then I got shirts on the walls, so I don't really know what I was doing. Story of my life. Hey guys, oh, you need to get a haircut. Oh, senorita, I'm going to cut your hair. You won't know who you are. Your boyfriend's going to be going cuckoo crazy. He's going to go loco when he sees what I do to your hair. Hello. Oh, really fantasizing about what's in that box, huh? 
Da 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 da. Okay. I, I really don't know. I guess this is a hair salon that also sells fashion. All right. So yeah, I like the little, the little chairs I got going on over here. Oh, look at him. I, I like that penguin. That penguin's pretty good. Two penguins in here. What are the odds? So those are the two shops that I have uh, worked on since we last spoke. Now you are up to date. So what are we going to do now? I think what we are going to do is we are going to... Oh, I think I also updated the school. Didn't I? Let's go in. I did up I, I updated the outside, but did I even do anything on the inside? I don't remember my life anymore. Yeah, I did update it. So I added a main room where this is like the hallway. Oh, look at the gossip that's happening here. School gossip. They're talking about which boy has the cutest bulge. And the answer is me. What is this guy's deal? Hey, no running in the hallway. You know what? You are asking to be written up, mister. Got some crap in here. Ooh, school crap. So yeah, this is my main entrance for the for the school. Apparently, would you? I you know you are. Is that Jeremiah? I don't remember their names. This is a, apparently the student that died that we're all remembering. All right, let's go into one of the back rooms. Did I do anything? I don't know. I thought that if it's you know if it's a school, there needs to be a hallway in the main entrance. Um, it's kind of neat how you can update things. Oh, that's right. I don't think I showed you guys this. This is the, the gym. Oh, for crying out loud. Really? This is supposed to be the room where you... Yo, yo, wake, your, wake up! You... I like him, too. You're really cool looking. Why are you disappointing me by being inactive in the gym? So just a bunch of sport equipment. You know. Nobody's doing anything. Why is nobody doing anything? Tangy, what are you doing? Okay. All right. So this is my gym, the school. There's some hurdles over there. All right. Oh, she's got to open the door. Um, and then the other room, I think, is just the same. So I won't show you. It's the same school room that I had before. Oh, now she's running in the hall. Uh, this, You know what? We need to bring, like, tasers. The teacher should be allowed to have tasers. Just taser these mutants. Misbehaving, not attending class, talking about bulges. I mean, you know, come on, this is not appropriate. Um, I kind of, I mean, we, I don't think we really have enough time for me to build another area out here. That'll be the next journal. But I think we do have enough time to talk with, oh, I guess she's not dead. We do have enough time to talk with Static. Where did Static go? Man, I wish I had the megaphone. There you are, you glorious beast. Listen to how deep and manly his voice is. Okay. Oh, I hope he really wants a cool house. This is going to be one of the houses that I really care about. Should point out that I'm actually filming these in bulk. I'm going to do five of these in one sitting, so you guys are going to have a new journal entry Monday through Friday. There will obviously be more than that, uh, but I'm going to probably have a little break on the weekend. All right, where do we want Static to live? Static has to live in a beautiful area. Some place that's really neat. Oh, that's kind of cool. Static, you're going to move there. Look at his happy, stupid little face. Lottie, I don't really like you anymore. Lottie's hair should be like... Lottie's hair should be pink or purple. Having the, like, human brown-colored hair is weird for an otter. Okay. Blump, 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 blump. The house is there. Could we move? No, I don't think the house will... Oh, the house does fit there, but... Oh, you can walk across. I can't change the bridge, though. Okay, we're gonna keep it over there. Hmm... Should we go right up against it? Well, let's change the house in general. Uh, Static's house is... What? Oh, there's not enough... Oh, there's a, ra there's a double rainbow in the background! Ah! Oh, for crying out loud. Hold on. 
Got to move it over. And now we can change the house. Obviously, we're going to give him a purple house. Let's change the bridge before I forget. Uh, what is a good static bridge? I feel like he would like that bridge. And his fencing should be a little bit more... His flavor. What is this? Uh, I don't really like any of those, but I'll go with them anyways, just because I feel like he would prefer them. And it's all about the client. That's a pretty big house. But I think I did that one before. Uh, I kind of like that one. Oh, that's an... Okay, we'll go with that one. It's a little basic looking, but I feel like that's what Static wants. It's going to have a purple roof. And... Uh, oh, that's weird. Ooh. Huh. Uh, okay, I kind of like... I kind of like that. Let's change the door. Is there a dark purple door? Give me the dark purple door. Ooh, okay, that might work. Uh, okay. We got some metal doors. Um, I don't really like that. There we go. What is this? That's a siding. There's anything. Okay, so we did everything there. Uh, let's let's go inside before we do any more outside, because I want to figure out what kind of house he wants. Obviously, I can't read it, so I'm gonna figure it out from the inside. Static wants. Oh my gosh, does he want a Mario house? He does. Static, you're a freaking beast. My goodness. Static is the greatest thing that ever existed. Coins. And, oh, he wants, look at all this Mario junk he wants. He's the best. Put the Mario wallpaper and flooring. This is perfect, because I've been covering Super Mario Maker for, like, a couple weeks now. So this just turned out magnifico. All right, we also, well, we're going to want the Fire Flower. I really wish there was a way to select a lot instead of just having to keep going back into the catalog. Basically everything. I want everything. Put it all on the ground, and we'll move it around in a bit. Uh, flagpole? Yeah. Look, at Static is going nuts. Static is off his face with excitement right now. Uh, a melon? What does he want the melon shirt for? That's kind of strange. We're going to put the Mario and Luigi shirts on the wall. That's where they would want them. We're going to put the hats down. And... Ooh. Static is just... You gotta calm down, Static. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything. Oh, we don't have a shell. Okay, let's get arranging some of this stuff. Uh, flagpole should be right when you walk in, I feel. In fact, I might want two flagpoles, because I'm greedy like that. Uh, let's move the stuff out of the way a bit so I have some room to move around. Okay. We will put a question mark box there. Was there a brick? Yeah, okay, we'll put the brick on the other side then. I was gonna say, can you stack them? Actually, I changed my mind. We're not gonna put the flagpole at the entrance anymore. We're gonna make that, and then we will put the fire flower on that, and we will put... Can a Yoshi egg go on there? No, Yoshi egg can't go on top of something? How bizarre. Okay, so we got the entrance made there. I like that. Pretty good entrance way. Um, there's just so much stuff. I don't like this block, actually. That annoys me. Static did not like that. We deleted that, but he's just going to have to deal with it. Um, the Mario and Luigi, I th I didn't actually want to copy the Fire Flower. I'll just go in. I want to get more of the bricks because I'm going to put the shirts and the hats on the bricks in the back. Right about there. There's the Luigi hat and the Mario hat. Okay, that's looking good. We'll put the Luigi shirt 
next to that, and the Mario shirt next to that one. Move that out of the way. Put the Yoshi egg in the middle of them. By the way, I really like that. Uh, if you played Animal Crossing in the past, you'll you'll know that like you couldn't move things this precisely. Like, look at the egg. The egg before would just be able to go here or here, but now you can even put it in the middle, which I really like because it makes things look less robotic. You know, it looks a little bit more manual. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but like you can make better things. Like you can make it more symmetrical is the word I'm looking for. Flagpole in the corner. Um, we're gonna put this maybe like in the middle. Shell there. I think we're pretty much good. What is this? Oh, it's a coin. I'm gonna put a little trail of coins on the ground. Wait, actually I can't because you can't walk over those. Yeah, okay. Move that forward. I'm just gonna put some coins down here by Mario and Luigi's junk. Okay. Alright, so that's your Mario and Luigi house, but you know what, my friend? You want some stuff outside. Let's put some Nintendo stuff outside as well, which I think is one of the cool new features in Happy Home Designer, that you can actually put more things outside. Alright, this is gonna be like a little Mario Island area. Okay, we want- oh, we definitely want the flagpole out here. There we go. Nice. Uh, what else do we got in here? Uh, we can put the gold coin out here. This would be like a little island of gold. We'll make a few of these. I'm gonna move them over a bit. Like that. Okay. I like that. What else can we put? Anything else on this little island? Uh, da, da, da. What? Um, let's go over. Well, I can just drop some stuff here. And we'll put a Yoshi egg out here. But we're gonna bring it over by his house. Static, get out of the way. I need to put Yoshi eggs down. We'll put Yoshi, two Yoshi eggs right in front of his house. And I didn't I didn't put a star in the house. So where could we put this? Oh, that can actually go on the side. But that doesn't really look good over there. Maybe we should put the stars on the outside of his house. That's maybe a better look for his entrance. And the Yoshi egg can be like when you first walk in. Oh, I know. Let's put some bushes in between the Yoshi egg. So here, let's go into the foliage. We'll grab a bush. So we'll go, it'll go egg, bush, egg, bush. Egg. There we go. Okay, I like the way that looks. Uh, any more trees? Mm, I don't know if I have room for them. We could put flowers down in some areas. Uh, what about any rugs? Are there any Mario themed rugs? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, we could put a red, a small red rug somewhere. Okay, right there, right there. Can we move that to be a little bit more centered with the flagpole? There we go. And... I think that's pretty much it. I think I'm pretty satisfied with this for the most part. I don't want to overdo it. Okay, static. I'm fairly certain this should be done. Oh, no, there are some things that he wanted that we did not do. Oh, he wants the fire bar. Oh, darn it. Well, we're going to put the fire bar outside then. Let's take the flag pull away. We'll go back over there and we'll put the fire bar there instead. I don't know why you want that, but you know what? The customer's always right, except if they're a total idiot, then they're wrong. All right. Static, you are the first person to actually wreck. I'm getting singed. Static is the first animal, I should say, to recommend a house that I cared about. Let's see what he thinks of it. He better like it. My entire rep reputation is on the line. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can tell. Oh, he's getting... He's going to do some naughty things in this room. I can tell. He's going to get naked. 
He's gonna get naked and dance. Look at him. Oh. He's happy with this. All right. Another person happy. It's what I do for a living. Reward me with an emotion. There you go. So I want to thank you little rugrats for watching this video journal. I don't know why I called you rugrats. I've had some fun. Caught you guys up with what I've been doing. Keep it locked right here to the bit block for a lot more on Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer.